the Motorbike Rider Digital Magazine, bringing you video features, video tours and video reviews. England's highest waterfall. It's a lovely walk, it's, it's well gravelled, it's not that far, but just, I mean, it, it's so worth a visit, so worth a visit. But you see all these white farms, every single one of those belongs to Lord Barnard of Raby Castle. And the reason why they are painted white, and they have to be maintained as well. The reason why they are painted white is many, many years ago, when Lord Barnard would get on his horse and survey his vast land. He wanted to make sure he knew which properties were his. And so he told the people who were his tenants that you will paint your houses white. That way he could tell at a vast distance just which properties belonged to him. And it's still carried out even till today, as you can see. Well, there's a road there to your left disappearing and we're going to go up that road. Because I want to show you one of the most spectacular sights as well, up in the Teesdale Valley. So here we are. Here we are. I have no idea if you can see that white thing on top of the hill just to the right there. But that's the weather station on top of Alston. Standing out quite proud in this lovely sunny day. But this is Cow Green Reservoir. Brought a huge amount of prosperity to the Teesdale region. To build it. And the dam's down the left side there. Built for a couple of reasons, obviously, for the water, but also it goes into the River Tees. And the River Tees was notorious for flash floods, because it would rain like bloody hell up here. And then, of course, you wouldn't know, even down in Middleton, you just wouldn't know. So that what happened was the water would then flood all the way down the River Tees. And people used to be killed. This wall of water going down the Tees. So one of the major reasons that um, it was built, well the two reasons obviously for the water storage, but also to prevent the deaths that were happening. Hell of a size, isn't it? Nowhere near the size of Kielder Water, which is the largest man-made reservoir in Europe, up in Northumberland. So here we are back at Langdon Beck. Well, we're going to turn left, which would take us on the road all the way to Alston. But not too much further around here, we're going to turn right. And that's going to take us over the tops into the second Durham Dale called Weirdale. For the River Weir.
Brown sign. Weird hell. St. John's Chapel, which is where we're going. Five mile, which is in right in the Weirdale, so from between Teesdale and Weirdale, there is only five miles. But there is a contrast. Weirdale is a lot more industrial, I guess. Industrial? Or should I say there's a lot more towns and villages in Weirdale than there is in Teesdale. Look at that. Just look at that. Vast, expansive, stunning views. My lord. And here we are. Just coming in now. The village of St John's Chapel. It's a great place actually if you find the time to base yourself. Because from here you can go across into Cumbria, you can do all the Durham Dales. You can even get yourself up into Northumberland from here. And just up here on the right you can see the sign outside. You've got the Chatterbox Cafe. And just to the right here You've got the Golden Lion. Okay. 